Hello YouTube and welcome to another edition of Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry. If you are new, welcome. I am so glad to have you here. If you like what you see, please hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I put new videos up. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I am so happy to see you today. So today for my Christmas Eve dinner, I am making sausage balls. I have never made these before. Um, this is something that I think I will like making in big batches and having in my freezer so I could pull out for a quick meal. The recipe I found is very basic as there's very minimal ingredients. I did add onion powder and garlic powder to my mixture because it didn't have any other spices listed in it. So I did add onion powder and garlic powder to it. But other than that, I will leave the recipe linked down below. And I pretty much followed it except for adding the, the spices to it. So I hope you enjoy this recipe and I will get you into the kitchen and let's get cooking. All right, so we are in the kitchen getting ready to make our sausage balls. Uh, I have never made these before, so this is a new thing for me, but I thought this would, would be a great Christmas Eve dinner. So I have uh, two pounds of pork sausage in here. Uh, I need to get my oven preheating. And I'm going to preheat it to 400 degrees. All right, so I got that going. Now, I will link my the recipe I'm using down below in the description box, but it's just a pound of pork sausage. Two cups of baking mix. You can use Bisquick if you want. I'm just using a uh, Kroger baking mix. And uh, cheddar cheese. I'm just going to be using whatever cheese I, I have open. Uh, this recipe calls for chives. I do not have chives, so I'm going to just add some parsley in it. And then I'm also going to add some um, onion powder and garlic powder. I think would be really good in that. So let me grab my spices over here. Garlic powder. My dried parsley and I think I'm going to add um, let's see this is a I think I'm gonna add a teaspoon of each so this is the garlic powder and the recipe does not actually call for garlic powder or onion powder but I think think these need a little bit of flavor so so I think that this was is would be a really good addition and then I have my parsley I'm just going to eyeball that. It was maybe a quarter of a cup, if that much. It wasn't a whole lot. Just enough for some flavor. 
and now we have our biscuit mix. Grab some scissors here. We'll be here all day with me trying to open this package up. Even with the scissors, I'm having trouble getting the package open. Alright, now the recipe calls for two cups of biscuit mix. I'm doubling this for recipe, so I am, uh, let's see, that is a half a cup. I'm going to sure I need a cup. Well, that's only half a cup. My other ones must be in the dishwasher. So I will just measure this out accordingly. three. I lost count. Alright, we'll just go from there and if it's too dry, I'll just add a little more milk to it. Okay. milk here so I'm gonna add a little bit of milk and here we go this will be a little bit noisy I'll just get that mixing and I'll grab my cheese We are in business. It actually still looks like it's pretty good. Alright. Definitely needs some more milk. and start adding in our cheese. It's pretty wet, so we're going to add some more of our baking mix to it. Enough 
this cup here. Never have too much cheese. And we can get this locked in. Let's see. Um, I am thinking. That this will hold together. I definitely don't need any more milk at this point. Um, I'm thinking I will add just a, a little bit more of my biscuit mix. Sausage everywhere. All right. So I'm going to wash my hands and get my mess cleaned up here. And then I will bring you guys back. All right, guys, that was not fun. I am going to be cleaning sausage up for probably days because that, that went everywhere. So, heck, I think I probably even have it in my hair. So, I'm just kind of uh, scooping with my little cookie scoop just so I can kind of make make them all the same size they don't have to be exact but you want them close and I'm just pushing the meat down into my cookie scoop to make a ball and putting it on the tray
I'm just making it as neat as I can. Again, it does not have to be perfect. Just scooping and forming my sausage balls. And these could go pretty close on the tray because they're not going to really spread out all that much. That was a little much. I'm just kind of... You don't have to use a cookie scoop to do these, but these are going pretty fast with the cookie scoop. And if you wanted to make larger size ones, you could even uh, use a muffin size scoop. Uh, uh, a big ice cream size scoop and, and make them a bit larger. Of course, they will take extra longer to cook done. The bigger they are, the longer they will take to cook. So just keep that in mind. If you decide that you want larger sausage balls, Make them as big as you want. Just bear in mind that, that it will take a bit longer for them to cook. So I got this tray just about done. And I am making extra for the freezer just because if you're going to the bother of making these, you want to have some for the freezer so that you don't have to go through this mess again the next time you want sausage balls. They will already be done. All right. I think I can put some more on here. At least one. And these are going into the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. I'll check them at that 20 minutes and see how they're doing, but that these these look pretty good so aside from the mess with the sausage mix flying everywhere I'm glad that I'm trying these I'm gonna have some in my freezer so I will bring you back when I have these ready to come out of the oven all right we are back these are done they look beautiful. This tray I actually made bigger on purpose because these are going to be my supper tonight. But here's the smaller ones. So they turned out absolutely perfect. And I'm getting my plate together here with some to try. I'm just waiting on my pasta sauce to heat up to, to dip them in and I'm just using my home cam pasta sauce nothing special so we're just going to let this warm up 
so I have something to dip my sausage balls in. So this recipe, actually, I, I think I would make this again. I, I have tried one of them, so I'm not going to even try to hide that because I they just smelled so good. I, I was, didn't want to wait for this tray to come out, so I, I sampled one of the smaller ones. I will leave this recipe link down below. Uh, just bear in mind if you double this recipe, make sure that you do not put all of the ingredients in your bowl at once so it, it goes flying everywhere like mine did. Um, I'm still cleaning up bits of sausage, so, um, yeah, it, it went everywhere, so only mix up one batch at a time. And I think my sauce is, is worn through. I don't want my sauce too terribly hot. I just want it warmed up, so I'm going to put my sauce here in my bowl. I'm excited for these. I I love sausage balls and I just have never made them before. I don't know why. But I just have not made, made these before. So I grab a fork here. And look at that. Look at that. All right, let me spin you around and we will give these sausage balls a try. All right, I got my fork. I got my tray of yummy sausage balls with a marinara sauce. Let's give, give these a try and let me show you what they look like. I think I'm going to set this down over here so that I can cut these without dropping my tray and making a huge mess. So I actually think I'm going to just break them apart with my hands. And all right, let me show you the inside of these. They look beautiful. They look really good. They look perfect. And I did cook these for about 35 minutes and I did check them with my meat thermometer because these were a little bit bigger. I wanted to make sure they were cooked all the way through. So I made sure that the, the internal temperature was um, 175 for pork to be done. So I just had to check my list to make sure I was giving you all the, the right temperature. So here we go. Here comes my bite of sausage balls. Mm. Mm. They have a, a nice crunch to them. Mm. Mm -hmm. I am really glad that I added the um, the onion powder and the garlic powder. So. If you use this recipe, you might want to think about um, adding those two spices to it because that, that really did, did make a big difference. So, woo, here comes the happy dance. Woo. Except for having sausage fly out of my mixer all over. These are actually pretty good. Mmm. 
Mm. I made plenty for the freezer, so these are going to come in handy on nights when I need a quick meal. I can just pull these out of the freezer and pop them in the air fryer and warm them up. So, that concludes this edition of Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry. Thank you so much for spending time in my kitchen with me today. Today was definitely another adventure. Um, I will let you all know if I get all of the sausage cleaned up everywhere because, yeah, it, it went flying everywhere, so I am still cleaning that up. But other than that, it, this... This was a good, good recipe. I will definitely make these again. I am glad that I made them. Uh, so let, let me know in the comments down below if you have made a similar recipe to this and, and what you might put different in your sausage balls. So um I hope you all have a very blessed and safe Christmas. I wish you blessings, love, and light this holiday season. I hope you all, all stay warm and safe and just enjoy the time with your family and your friends, whatever it is that, that you're doing, just take time to enjoy it. And I wish you God's peace. And I will see you all on the next video. Bye.